Last time we here, we just had concrete, a slab. Now we have steel, wood, reinforcement, bricks. Excited. <laughs> Starting to get a little house together now. works and our framing has gone up but what we've also done and you can't see behind the wall is we've got a very very sort of structured reinforced brick wall that is actually going to be a retaining wall for all the sand that you see behind me we're gonna have a lovely landscaping going to the back of the house this is the natural ground level we're gonna fill that back in so what we have done is put in this four meter high wall, block work wall by Adrian. We've filled it up with concrete. There's 10 cubic meters of concrete in it, all steel reinforced. Uh, the next step is to waterproof it. And we'll just follow it up all the way behind us. So Josh is going to tell us a little bit about what we're up to in the front part of the house. Oh, everything. We've got the lift and we've got the steel structure. Beyond that, yeah, the lift, we wouldn't have seen the lift yet, but no. it's, it's here. Now we've actually framed it up ready for Barclay to have a look at his cellar. So one of the things that I did notice when we came here last time is how high these ceilings are. They're four metres. <laughs> They're that big that we don't have straight edges long enough, so we have to clamp two together. Bit That's of innovation. Yeah, bit of innovation there. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is we realise what we can do is lower the ceiling so that we can actually get to the cabinetry and it will create a bit more of a cosier feel rather than feeling like you're in a cave. So I'm building a, a small little laundry in the garage cabinet. Anything somewhere somewhere here. Yeah. Somewhere here is where it's going to go. So you can get out of your car. It'll be hidden behind cabinets. It'll be like a like a European type of laundry. The washer, the dryer, just a few little basic stuff, a little sink. When the kids come back from the beach and they've got their dirty towels, they can throw them in here rather than in the house. So since last time, a few things have happened. Um, this is sort of the next step. So we know the K-brace, which doesn't do anything except look cool. It conforms to the Bell 29, the bushfire alert level. Um, it's just a, it's a vapour barrier, um, stops electrolysis too. So two types of metals touch, they can have a reaction. Um, and then these are the battens, so the top hat is a metal as well, also for the bushfire alert. Dare I say, we'll straighten them all up a bit and it's ready for cladding. Everything has to be sizable, everything has to be sizable. Everything you said. Barclay has got passion fruit. He's got a passion fruit tree growing in the backyard. But every time he comes here, he doesn't look at the building, he just goes to check out his passion fruit. And the first one's True. ready and I don't know what I've done with it. And so what he does is he goes to the, he goes to the grocery every week and checks the price of the of the passion fruit to see how much money he's gonna save by growing his own passion fruit. So that naturally fell off like you said so. Oh, did it? There you go, his first ever passion fruit. Yeah. It's hilarious. Our number one carpenter and villa is a massive red chili hot peppers. <laughs> huh? I don't know that bad, Do but I know the red hot chili peppers. 